Yeah, so if you've ever opened an old project and you found a message like this, I feel your pain. So chances are that we just moved the files to a different location and we just need to locate them and everything will be fine. Nah. But in some cases, we actually started out a project and we loaded files from an external drive, um, a thumb drive or SD card or something external. And we need to, you know, find them on that device. <laughs> and load them back into the project. So obviously this was a problem though. The project did not save the audio files to the project files. Oh no! What do we do like when we wanna quit the project and uh, next time we open it? We want those files there. So uh, let me show you a couple things that you can do. Okay, so I have a project here. And these files here, the green ones, they were all imported in from an SD card. And so the project hasn't saved um, them to any of the project files. Hell no. I have its folder here. and the audio files are blank. I have the drums here in this other folder and they're all accounted for. But the audio files are blank. And so what you want to do, once you have brought everything back into your project with the lost files and you got everything there, you want to go to file and save project as. What you want to do is just save it as the same project it's been, save it in the same stuff in the same folder it's been with the same name, and select this right here. Move all media into project directory, and check off copy rather than move source media if not in old project media path, and hit save. Well, yeah, no. Replace. And then you should be good to go. Let's take a look. And now in our audio files folder, we have everything there. But wait, you ask, how did I get an audio files folder? Glad you asked that. Okay, so if we go to file, project settings <clears throat> go to the uh, second tab here media and what you want to do is type in a default file name that you would like to have for any project that would be um, where you'd want to keep your audio files I just called mine audio files you call them media files you call them whatever the heck you want but the point is, is that it'll make a file and you can store your media or your audio there. Yes! Um, and instead of hitting OK, you're going to want to hit Save as Default Project Settings. And this will make it a default every time you pull up uh, any new project. Um, the other thing you want to do is this option right here copy media to project path oh no and what that'll do is uh save everything um that's new that you bring in from an external source it'll save it and it'll make a copy and save it to that folder so let me demonstrate that here um what we're gonna do is erase all these we're going to go to Finder here, and let's erase all the peaks 
and all the things that aren't the drums. Let me make sure I got this right. Kick, snare, hi hat. Okay, that looks right. Move the trash. Okay, they're gone. And that's on my hard drive and my Dropbox this is where I back it up. So here's where I got them from. Um, from my SD card. We're gonna drag them back in. Separate tracks. Then if we go back to Finder, you'll see that it placed them right in this audio files folder. It made new peaks, put them all here, and everything is good to go. So, the next time you import files from somewhere other than your hard drive, have these settings in place, and everything will be hunky-dory. Yeah. yeah! So if you found this video useful in any kind of way, please uh, remember to subscribe and uh, leave a comment. And uh, let me know if I can do anything else for you, if you need any help with Reaper, or making music in general, or on the MPC, MPC1, um, 2000 XL, um, or just general music questions or life challenges type questions, whatever you got, hit me with it. And I'll be happy to answer as I can or as I know how. And until I talk to you next time, remember to treat all your people really well because life is short. Y'all have a good one.